Hey guys, what's up Pisces? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future. The situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. Keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. So this could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with. So flip flop it how you need to. Also keep in mind, <clears throat> excuse me, this is a general reading. So take what's yours, leave the rest behind. Also, if you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, um, you can find that below. If this resonates, please make sure that you like and subscribe below as well. All right, Pisces, immediate future. Pisces keep seeing a lot of earth energy. So you could be dealing with the earth sign. Or you could just be really um you know in a, a grounded or looking for that, you know, that stable material world or just foundation, stability in general. All right, Pisces immediate future. Let's see. So you could work with somebody or you could have just been really focused on work. I think somebody's kind of getting bored with that. All right, show me um me a piece for Pisces. One more card for Pisces, please. All right, see, yeah, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, which could just be about your, your money right now or your stability, something like that. All right, show me this Ace of Swords for Pisces, please. No numbers to break down. The stars, Aquarius energy. There's a wish here. Something that you wish for, something that you've seen as a wish. Yeah, the Ace of Swords is there, and that, that's about communication. But I feel also like somebody realized something, like had that epiphany, that aha moment. Uh, or it could have been like an idea, right? But it's some type of wish, it's some type of opportunity that you're going towards. You could just be like, you know, moving towards a more peaceful time. You could be moving or traveling. But it's also about like having this idea or this epiphany that oh shit this is my wish so it's like moving towards that it feels like a very balanced time because in the middle of it all you have the six of wands which is about um victory success so you could be seen in the public eye but it is your happiness here with the hermit there that's virgo energy so i feel like i feel like i'm ready now <laughs> that I see that is um keep it in some anger here, some jealousy somehow. Cause there's an opportunity. It could be a job offer, it could be with a person, it could be um communication. But it's like you're moving towards something, right? You're moving towards some type of wish, some type of idea. You know, you get communication from somebody, you're working on something. Um, that's your wish here. But I feel like under it all, there is some around your success, around this opportunity, whatever this is. It could be with a Gemini or a Taurus, something stable or, you know, that you're moving towards. Um, I feel like there's uh, hidden anger behind it. I think you're trying to move away from that and you're going towards this wish. It looks like this opportunity makes you happy, but kind of in the middle of it, the feeling that it gets is, um, I don't know why it's coming off like that. I don't think you're quite seeing it, but there's jealousy behind it. I think somebody is, is kind of, you know, hating a little bit. Because with the Six of Wands, it's like somebody is on top of the world, right? Like I was saying, you could be seen in the public eye. This person's sitting up here on their horse. And all these people are like um, watching them, acknowledging them. And then you kind of have somebody, I don't think, uh, I think it's, 
it has nothing to do with the meaning of this card. It's all about the feeling. It's like they're kind of in the shadows in the background, but there's like some hidden jealousy or resentment around some type of opportunity or wish that's being granted because you manifested this. And with the Nine of Pentacles, I can't help but to think that like, you know, especially with the Queen of Pentacles is here, like you're extremely like good working on your material world. Um, you're confident, you're, you know, you're able to take care of yourself and be successful and, you know, you stand your ground, you know yourself worth, so you're getting this wish that you manifested and there's just some type of, um, something underlying, but either way, what else? There's an opportunity here that you've kind of manifested. Yeah, well, you could be keep with the high priestess and the magician, two, one of two ways. You could be keeping it to yourself. If you're not, keep it to yourself. Um, because that's kind of when this steps in. Jealousy and things like that. So um, until you get like some stability towards you get really off the ground with it, um, keep it to yourself because you're going to have, you know, this could be like people even smiling in your face, but I don't know. Um, that's about as far as it goes. Show me this Queen of Pentacles for the outcome for Pisces. Show me this Queen of Pentacles, please. And she is like, this Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, but she's like the queen, you know, of that um, material world. She's a nurturer, but she's, you know, she's also a business-minded, temperance, Sagittarius energy. That's about healing. Like you're letting go of something. You're breaking free from something. But I think you know exactly where you're going. Because you're you've definitely built up like a foundation for yourself. And um, so it's about trying to just find that peace, find that that balance. One card, please. And you're doing it. Thank you. King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Yeah, so somebody ends up like holding back here. Um, it's kind of like healing, being patient, but you're letting go of this. You're breaking free of it. Like you're, you're, it's almost kind of like you're detaching emotionally. Um, but with this King of Swords and the Four of Pentacles, it's like uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, but very, um, no no emotion it's it's like uh, a logical thinker but with the four pinnacles it's like holding on um i'm sorry holding back with those emotions you could just you know really be focused with the four pinnacles they are on saving up your money that type of thing but as far as emotions they don't really come out here yeah the page of swords So it doesn't look like pain. It actually looks like you're pretty damn successful here. But as far as emotions go, I think like you're kind of moving on and there's some, um, because you're doing it like successfully, I think there's some hidden resentment here. So, you know, there could have been a child in the middle of it all or like could have just came down to a job offer, but it's kind of just about healing and um, definitely not very forthcoming with emotions right now. Yeah, so you could be dealing with a Taurus again. Um, but it's like you're leaving something behind or vice versa. Um, the Five of Pentacles is about, you know, feeling ghosted, feeling left behind, feeling forgotten about and kind of waiting at a distance for the ship to come in. It really seems like you're more focused on... Um, Maybe, uh, well, shit, whatever this wish is that you're going towards, but it really feels like it's within yourself because the, the nine of pentacles and the page of pentacles, this is like the page can be somebody who really takes care of their physical appearance as well. And the nine of pentacles really taking care of your money, your house, your home, your stability. So it really feels like you're more so focused on yourself and you are manifesting a wish here, either keeping it to yourself or you need to, because I think you're going to have some haters behind some type of, um, uh, victory or somebody just not as 
maybe it's happy for you. All right, Pisces, hope this helps. Good. I hope this helps. Hope this resonated. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time.